Beltline is complete. This is what the loop will look like, and it is not there just yet, but the city has approved creating tax district, a tax district to help complete construction. However, it is not without its pushback. Here's 11 Alive's Doug Richards. The Atlanta Beltline is a very popular project, but based on public comments given to the city council late this afternoon, the new tax proposed for properties on the Beltline is not quite as popular. The new tax would affect businesses like the Georgia Beer Garden, a restaurant a half mile from the Beltline that all but closed down a year ago due to the pandemic. Its owner says the new tax would cost $1,000 yearly. We are running 15% of where we were pre-COVID. Um, if this were a normal regular year, uh, yeah, that would be an easy amount to probably absorb. But at this time, that's an additional amount of money that we're just not going to have. I think uh, $400 a year, as long as it's used in all the right ways to complete the trail, uh, is going to be a great benefit for us and it'll outweigh the cost. Julio Diana runs a creative services company and he thinks the new Beltline tax would be worthwhile. Backers say the new tax would include businesses and commercial property roughly a half mile on either side of the Beltline project. The Beltline says 3,500 plus properties would collect the additional tax, but that half of them would pay less than $250 more per year, raising $100 million more to complete construction of the Beltline. Despite the opposition, the Atlanta City Council voted late this afternoon overwhelmingly to create the new special tax district. All right, Doug, thank you.